So the other day I had to laminate like 50 of these signs and I kind of had a thought, you know, I can use this as an opportunity to teach uh, what a bottleneck is and also show some of the waste at play. So here I am doing one piece flow. So that laminator is my bottleneck. The process will only go as fast as that laminator can laminate. So essentially while I'm uh, waiting for it to laminate, I get set up and then just stand there and wait until it's ready to take the next piece. This is one piece flow. And what I'm gonna do right now is just start overproducing. So the putting the paper in the sleeve process is a lot faster than the laminator process. So I'm just gonna start putting as many papers in sleeves as possible. And you can see, even though I'm doing that, I'm busy. The process as a whole is not going any faster because the laminator is my bottleneck. And actually, it makes it go slower because I'm distracted by overproducing and I'm not keeping the laminator fed. I'm actually letting it sit and wait a little bit. So this seems pretty counterintuitive, but it's a really powerful principle if you can see it in your processes with machinery and stuff. So if I wanted this process to go faster, because I'm waiting, which is waste, I'd actually have to figure out how to speed up the laminator or maybe get two laminators and I should have enough time to feed two. This is the theory of constraints. Really nothing else I do will speed up the process unless I speed up that bottleneck. So thank you and I hope this video helps you see and identify bottlenecks in your processes.